Welcome to my 32nd book update. Here we go again. Not today I have a bunch of books to show you guys. I'm really happy to have all these and I'll start off with the hardcovers. So first up I have Clickers Forever. This has a bunch of authors contributing, contributing to short stories about um, the Clickers phenomena that wasn't this book franchise. I have the other three, haven't read them yet, but I'm glad to have this one because I sometimes do like to read short stories, but not all the time. Then I have The Dinosaur Battle of New Orleans. This is a severed press release, and it's by Dan Hatchell, who I cannot remember for the life of me what else he wrote, but he sounds very familiar. And uh, I love the cover. Kind of reminds me of Mississippi River Sharks. Yeah, so. Then I have Family Tradition by Edward Lee and John Pilon. I have no idea what this is 100% about, but I'm interested. Based on the cover alone, it looks like a big angry fish. Then I got one that was a suggestion to me by Cecil from the Horror Show. It is called Origin. Um, it's basically about like the devil and um, something about them trying to... He comes back somehow, or he comes out into the real world. I'm not 100% sure how he described it, but I picked it up. Glad to have it. Then I have John Rust's Reptilian. That's an awesome cover. I really do like that cover. Um, yeah, it's got a, a really great spine and everything. It's going to look nice in my Severed Press collection. Speaking of Severed Press, Vietnam Black. Uh, I guess this is about millipedes or something. <laughs> I'm interested. It's a Vietnam War story with giant bugs or something like that. So, that's really cool. Now let's move on to the paperbacks. I have, hold on. Gotta switch something around. Actually, before I go to the paperbacks, I messed up there is one other hardcover, and that is Jaws 2. I got this from Silas, um, let me double check that. Yeah, I got this from Silas Jones. And he, she sold she sold me it for like twelve bucks. That's a really damn good deal. It's in great condition. Really happy to have this in hardcover form. Now let's move to the paperbacks. I have Peter Tremaine's The Ants. The spine looks like it's in bad condition, but it's really tightly bound, so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, it's I've heard I've heard his books aren't that great, but I'm interested nonetheless. Then I have one, this one was suggested to me by Cap90. Um, he told me to um, look into Book of the Dead by John Tickles, or Tiggis, John Tiggis. <laughs> and I picked it up for a good price, it's in marvelous condition for such an older book. You can tell by the uh, yellowing of the pages uh, and the text font. So, let's, let's see when it's actually released and so I'm going to point out why it's old. Yeah, 1989, so... Happy to have this. Looks really interesting. Then I have The Deadly Deep. I've been meaning to pick this up for some time. Great condition, even though the spine is kind of uh, has some creases on it. But it's tightly bound. It looks like it's about an octopus or something, or a squid. So, really gonna look into that one. Then I have an, one I already have, but uh, the copy I had of it was terrible condition. And that is... Disco Death Trap. I'm actually currently editing the review for this uh, for my Scare Show 5. Happy to have read this because this is an awesome book. Very good. Well written, great characters, and it's a fast paced story. I love it. Now, I had uh, ordered this as hardcover, but they sent me a uh, rather new edition paperback, which really pissed me off for Jaws. So I'm going to have to. Um, tell them about it and be like, hey, I need a different edition. 
because this is not what I ordered. The cover was completely different from what I ordered. So, that pisses me off. Thanks a lot, Amazon. Now, let's see if I can just reach over here real quick. Success, almost. So, uh, not only did I order Disco Death Trap the second time, but I also ordered Kill River 1 and 2, just in case the binding didn't work out too well. That's why I ordered another copy of Disco Death Trap, because the binding wasn't holding up too well. But with those, you also get this knife. This uh, paper knife. I think is so damn cool. This is in much better condition than my other one that's been ripped and torn, because I was going to use it as a bookmark on the freaking top of it. Just, no. But, hey, got a better conditioned one now, so I'm happy about that. I love that those came with those. I bought those from Amazon, so I was like, hell yeah. Then I have the Sandman. I had this in such terrible condition. I bought it at a store, so I had, said I had to upgrade it. Even though the book's like 400 pages long, I'll probably read it eventually. But it wasn't that great, but I still have it now, and it's in much better condition. And, uh, oh no. Then I have a really expensive book I bought by Guy and Smith called The Slime Beast. I probably This is probably the most expensive Guy and, Smith, Guy and Smith book I bought, so I'm keeping it in this packaging while I don't read it for now, because protection. And last but not least, I already have this book, but I had to order it again because mine's falling apart. This one doesn't look too good either, but it's actually holding it pretty well. Even considering that this copy of Squirm has, like, creases and stuff on the cover and spine, it's actually uh, bound together kind of nice, quite nicely, and the pages aren't, um, the back and front aren't tearing. So that's a plus. It's most kind of funny. And, uh, yeah, I'm reading Squirm right now for one week three, and, uh, it's okay. It's like, well, it's like the movie. It's a novelization. But, uh, happy to have this. And that is it. Those are the holy crap amount of books I've gotten in the past uh, month or so. Because this is a big ass pile. Really big. Really big. Really big. Really big. Really big. I'm gonna try to show them off real quick. But, you know, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna find. Like a fallen pile of move, fallen, fallen pile of movies or something. Or a fallen pile of books, so that would have sucked. Let me try to hold them both. Watch me fail and bend all the book covers and shit. That'd be just my luck. You know, because life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> just how the hell it's gotta go. If I can pull this off, kudos to me. We're gonna hold it for more than two seconds, that'd be great too. Lion Brian got our host of Horrors Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and leave comments and subscribe.